Hello, good evening and welcome to tonight's video. Tonight I'm here at none other than Jarrow Park once again. I don't recall if I've done like an investigation in this park, at least not for quite some time. I mean I've done some uh, videos in here on night vision in the past but uh, I haven't done a proper investigation. I mean it won't be a dead long investigation but I'll, I'll go as long as I can. I don't want the video to be too long obviously. But I must point out the reason why I haven't been making any videos is because um, under the weather, I've got a sinus infection. I've got this strange like smell in my nose and my mouth uh, it's, a, it's definitely a sinus type thing because I've had this before in the past a long time ago But I got it again because I was out in the uh, torrential rain one night Not too long ago the other week. It chucked it down when I was out late on and I got absolutely soaked through My pants were drenched um, Obviously I had a coat on so my top half wasn't as bad but my pants were soaking through so it came on since I got drenched and God knows what's in the rain these days some of you who are awake out there might know what I'm talking about but we'll not go into the details of that one um, so here we are in the park it's very quiet at the minute there's nobody else in the park that I can tell right now uh, I've been here having something to eat and uh, there's a little bit of drizzle happening, even though the weather forecast said it wasn't going to rain, it said 10% chance all day and night. That's typical, isn't it? But anyway, if it gets heavier, I won't be to continue because my light, the extra light that I'm using, isn't water resistant. Uh, so anyway, let's have a look around and see if there is anyone here tonight, okay? I'm here in the playground by the way, just to let you know, <laughs> so far. So let's have a look around then, see if there's anyone here. Now you should be able to notice there is a few specks of rain and stuff in the air. I can see it on the screen. It's only slight drizzle, so hopefully it shouldn't affect me uh, equipment too much. But we'll see how it goes. <coughs> Um, this playground, to me, often reminds me of a gym at times, like this thing here. <laughs> you know, like workout equipment, and there's some, like, other playground equipment outside of the uh, park, past the fence. Because this playground has a metal fence all the way around it, and it has two gates into it. But there's some stuff over there that definitely looks like it's part of a gym. So I dare say some people who um, couldn't get to the gym, or the gym was shut, maybe they could come in here and do some, you know, some stuff type of thing, like chin-ups or whatever, I don't know. I'm sure you can use this, this equipment for like sort of workouts as well, some of it. So here we have a conventional banana slide. It's not very high compared to the one that used to be in Jarrow, uh, I was going to say Jarrow Park, I'm in Jarrow Park. The one that used to be in Valley View Park, used to be a quite high one in there, it's not there anymore, years ago. Anyway, without further ado, let's see if there is anyone here who is friendly. <coughs> Good evening! There's an alarm going off by the way. Hello! Is there anyone here with me in this playground tonight? And if you would like to speak to me, would you be so kind as to uh, speak as close to these red lights that I'm holding in my right hand as possible? Because that's the only way I can hear you. Because this uh, device can record your voice. And I probably should mention this, but I probably won't be to hear you speaking, I'll only be to record you speaking. If that makes sense to you, does it? <coughs> Excuse me.
So if there is somebody here with me, could you please tell me your name? Can you please tell me your full name, first and second name please, into these red lights? I don't know whether I mentioned this already, I'm talking to me viewers now by the way. Um, I've also got a bad foot again, so I'm taking some echinacea, I just got two packets of echinacea today and I've just started taking them. See how that goes. Something on this picnic table over here, I think someone's left some bottles behind or something. There's a little bit of wind just happening. It's not much, but it's a little bit. If there is somebody here with me, can you tell me what I was doing just a few minutes ago on the seat over there? Anyone here that knows what I was doing on the seat over there? And as you should be able to tell, there's nobody here but me. It's a Friday night, by the way. And the time is... If I can see it. Just after half eleven at night. Take a look over here. Is there anybody here who used to use this playground? I'm pretty sure this whole playground's been replaced to what uh, it used to be like in the past I'm pretty sure um, I think where I'm standing or a bit over there maybe further over there used to be like a um, paddling pool thing years ago and I used to sail me um, sailing boat in there and I did that in Valley View Park as well um, I think I had a boat with a motor on it as well it wasn't radio controlled but it was it had a little motor with a propeller on the back um, I forget how I used to control that thing because I can imagine if it's motorized it would have just went away across the pond or the lake paddling pool whatever you want to call it and then you'd have to catch it at the other side of the thing go around the other side I can't remember what I used to do with it but I know I used to sail it in in the uh, paddling pool in here that's for sure now over there Beyond the playground here is the obelisk, the the one in which uh, nobody from Jaro knows knows why it's there. I asked asked on the uh, some of the Jaro groups on Facebook if anyone knew why there's an obelisk in Jaro Park, and uh, nobody knew apparently. Nobody had any clue whatsoever. None. So that's a bit mysterious, isn't it? Because I can think of other places where there's obelisks. One would be cemeteries. Lots in there, uh, at least some of them. And there's also an obelisk outside of the Vatican where the Pope hangs out. And there's also one outside the White House in Washington DC. So I wonder why they have them in those places. Anyone know? Does anyone know? And in case you don't know where an obelisk is, it's sort of an Egyptian sort of monument. It's sort of like, almost like a phallic symbol. It's long and tall they come in various different sh sizes and um the pointy on the top the flat on the sides but they've got like a pyramid thing on the top on the point 
Anyone know anything about obelisks and what they represent? And why is the one outside the White House? A big one it is, a bloody big one. And there's also a massive one outside of the Vatican, like I said. I'll stay in this playground for a bit longer, and then I'll move to a different part of the park. Because I, I don't know if I'm getting anything, obviously, because I can't hear it. It usually comes out, oh shit. It usually comes out via the EVP, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena, as you probably know. Uh, sometimes you get a disembodied voice, but I've got this bloody hat on, so I'll probably not be to hear anything. <laughs> I thought it was going to be colder than what it is tonight, but it's not that cold really at the minute. So, that's, um, so I might be a bit overdressed. <laughs> I might switch to my other hat and then I might be to hear better. I've got my other hat with us, so I might do that in a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to have a sit down though, again, <laughs> I think. Is there anybody here with me from Bill Key Farm? If there is anyone here with me from Bill Key, can you please shout your full name into my red lights on my camera, please? <clears throat> is there anybody here? who is usually down at Jarrow Old Hall with me. If there is someone here from Jarrow Old Hall, the park, or the park down that area, next to Bede's Monastery and all that, can you please shout your name out into the red lights? Let's say because I haven't been over here yet. Um, are there any um, bowlers here? Anybody who used to play bowls in the park here in Jarrow? Anyone? If you are a bowler, or used to be one, could you possibly tell me your name? Your full name? swings. I watched a bit of um, one of Jarrow Paranormal's uh, videos the other day. I didn't even know that channel existed. I just found it. I was watching a bit of Alan Robson's Night Hells, a clip on YouTube and this guy called Jarrow Paranormal phoned in. So I checked his channel out and watched a bit of his video outside Jarrow Old Hall. I didn't even know any anybody else had made any videos and put them on YouTube apart from me. Although I tell a lie. I do remember seeing some clips from a paranormal group investigating inside a Jarrow Hall a long time ago. But they were just short clips as far as I remember doing a um, Ouija board or something. Something I never do. But uh, no full length videos until I found Jarrow Paranormal's channel. I think it'll be unlikely that he's watching my channel or any of the videos. But if, if you are watching, um, I forget your first name. Or was it Keith or something? I may be wrong. Anyway, if you're watching, the guy from Jarrow Paranormal, um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to really say. <laughs> but yeah, so if the guy from Jarrow Paranormal is watching, um, I'm just wondering why you haven't uh, done any videos for about two years or something, because I looked at your, uh, on your channel and it says you haven't done anything for about two years or so. Maybe been three years, or I think it was two. Did you get fed up with doing it, or you just lost interest, or you moved on to some other hobby, or something? Just wondering. 
get in touch if you um, if you see this video and let us know okay be very uh, thankful for that so here is a very well it's not that small but it's a it's a lot smaller than the roundabout used to be in um, Valley View Park years ago I remember that one it was a bit like a flying saucer shaped with bars in the shape of like a flying saucer almost this one you just stand on it I guess at least there's plenty of uh, seats in this park, I like that. Plenty of seats. Some places around Jarrow and Hebben there's not many seats and other places there's none. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is meant to be, it's a little tiny slide I think. If there's anyone here with me, can you see the picture on the side of the slide on the rail in there? Can you see that picture? Do you know what that picture is of what's on the picture? Can you tell me what what's on this picture here in front of me on the bars, on the railing? The bike wheel is squeaking the brakes. And over there, that's the other gym equipment I was talking about. It looks like gym equipment to me. The exercise equipment, you know? That's what it looks like. We'll have a closer look. We have now left the playground, well, the main playground. Look at this. Does this not look like gym equipment to you? I think it is gym equipment, actually. <laughs> so this is the free Jarrow gym here in the park. So if you don't want to pay extortionate subscriptions to local gyms, just come here instead on the night time, it's nobody here. Well that might be sometimes, but nobody else. Especially come late on. It's surprisingly uh, deserted for a Friday night, I must admit. Around here. Surprisingly deserted. Just checking to see if my light was on, I thought it wasn't on there, the other light. There it is. So... If you need a good workout or you want to develop some muscles, just come down here. Free of charge. <laughs> Free of charge to use any of this gym equipment. Out in the open. Out in the fresh air as well, you won't get as hot and sweaty. Especially now if it's cold. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, we're now going to move to a different spot within this park, so I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so I've now arrived at the location behind the Bowling Green, or Greens, here in Jarrow Park. So I'll ask the same question I asked over there. Let's see if there's any bowlers here. Hello? Is there any bowlers here tonight? Anyone that used to bowl, play bowls in the park here? If you did indeed used to be a bowler, could you please tell me your full name by any chance, please? And if you give us your full name, I might possibly be able to get in contact with some of your bowling buddies because some of them might be in some of the groups on Facebook. And if you give me your full name, I can ask, like, make some inquiries to see if they used to know you or play bowls with you. If you would like to get in touch with some friends or anything. I'm hearing some noises, some coming from somewhere here. I don't know where it's coming from like it's not like tapping noises. Okay, I had to cut there because I just realized that I forgot to put this hat on. 
Because with this hat on, I can now hear better because my ears are exposed. Unlike with the furry hat, my ears were covered and muffled. My hearing was muffled. But now it's not so muffled. I'll be to hear if anyone speaks out loud or anything. But I doubt that'll happen, but you never know. So I'm sitting on the bandstand here at the steps. So I'll uh, continue where I left off. I was trying to um, speak to any bowlers who might possibly be here in Jarrow Park tonight. Um, like I was saying, if you would like me to um, let your bowling buddies, if there's any of them still around, some of your bowling buddies might be in the groups on Facebook on the internet. Do you know what the internet is, anyone? Is there anyone here who knows what the internet is? Can you explain the internet to me? Anyway, even if you don't know what the internet is, I still might be to let your friends know, or possibly some family members, that you are still residing here in the park. But then again, you might not be residing in the park. You might only be here because you heard me talking to you, and you might have come from, from further away. If I can stop stuttering for a minute. <laughs> I don't know how this works exactly, but you see it often um, baffles me how, like for example, if I go to a cemetery and I speak, use a name from a grave, from a headstone, and then that person says hello back, and sometimes I know for a fact it was the person buried there because sometimes they have an accent, like other than Northeast Geordie accent I've, I've recorded people speaking to me with a Scottish accent in Jarrow Cemetery for example um, and sometimes you can tell they're Scottish from the like the surname on the grave and that so yeah but you can't always be sure it's the person in the grave answering you but uh, I have often got responses when I've said say uh, for example hello Elizabeth it says Elizabeth on the grave and I say hello Elizabeth I have got replies back saying hello there you know what I mean so at least it's quiet in here tonight apart from the odd bit of traffic There's some noises coming up from the where the trees are in front of us but there may be some hedgehogs or birds or something I'm not sure that's probably what it is you know so once again if there is anyone here who is a bowler could you please shout your full name next to these red lights that I'm holding even if there's somebody here who isn't a bowler or didn't used to be one whoever you are could you please shout out your full name into these red lights So here is the bandstand with my bike parked in front of it. <laughs> now shut. Now shut. Now shut. Now shut. Now shut. Now should I chance going up the steps into the bandstand and leave my bike at the bottom? Do you think that's a bit risky? Because somebody could sneak up while I'm talking here, or in there and be off on my bike, so I better take it up there I think, I don't know I'll try it without but I'll keep my eye on it <laughs> I'll keep my eyes peeled and my onions and my oranges yeah okay, we're now on the bandstand here in Jarrow Park and of course there's sun symbolism everywhere on the fences for a reason I'm sure 
for that reason will forever remain a secret unless somebody watching my video knows what those sun symbols actually represent so if you do know the answer to what those sun symbols represent here in Jarrow Bandstand please put it down in the comments and I'll have a look at what you said okay <coughs> Right. Is there anyone up here on this bandstand right now with me? I still would like to uh, know your name if there's anyone here with me. Every time I'm on this bandstand, you know. It always reminds me of that scene out of uh, the Dead Zone with Christopher Walken. <laughs> Where he has flashbacks and he sees uh, the girl that got murdered in the snow. Shaking. No, he sh whenever he touches someone's hand, he, he can see into the past or the future. That's Christopher Walken, that is. Based on the Stephen King book of the same name. And there you have the ceiling to the bandstand. Is there anybody on this bandstand who used to um, be an actual band member and play the trumpet or the trombone or anything like that? Anyone? And if there is somebody here, is it possible you could try your hardest to speak out loud so I can actually hear you with me ears right now? Is the park keeper here? Any park keepers here? If you are a park keeper, could, could you possibly tell me your name please, your full name? I'm not here to um, cause any trouble by the way, as you can probably tell. I'm just here to try and communicate with you, that's it. Everything's uh, friendly here. I don't want to talk to anyone who's not friendly because... If I'm treating you with respect, I believe you should treat me with respect. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's fair, isn't it? The noise is over there, it could be outside the park. I'm not sure, like. I'm trying to leave, like, quiet sections, so. Because what often happens is, is when I'm asking questions sometimes, sometimes they talk over the top of you, where they are talking, and it's sort of, you can't hear it probably, it's kind of disguised a bit, because my voice is over the top. Back down the steps. Back down here. Right, well, I must thank you if you did speak to me or answer any of my questions. I'm very grateful for that, okay? It's very kind of you. Right, I'm going to move to a different spot here in the park again. So I'll back, be back... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Dry mouth. So I'll be back with you in a jiffy. Okay, so I've now just arrived here next to this building here which used to be the old uh, public toilet here in Jarrow Park now unfortunately it has been shut down for many years and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's not too impressed about that because you know from one time or another people do need the toilets 
and you could be in the park at the time when you need a toilet, but there isn't one. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it is more preferable to go into a toilet, I guess, than try to find a bush to jump into. You know what I'm saying? But from this side, this is around the back of it, it looks a bit like an old cottage without any windows or something. Which reminds me, I was once in an old haunted cottage and uh, next to Killhope Mine and it was the same cottage that Yvette Fielden from Most Haunted went into with uh, the group called McFly and she did an investigation in there with the group McFly I think it was McFly I don't think it was busted I'm pretty sure it was McFly Right, anyway, let's get on with what we're uh, what we came here to do see if anyone's here who would like to communicate well, the traffic dies down, it's a bit noisier over here because we're closer to the road and there's a car coming up right now so I'll wait till the car passes but um, there's a little rose garden over here Oops. yeah there's a little rose garden here as you can probably see and just over there is another building, which is for the bowlers. I like how they've got this um, sort of um, these plants on the side of the wall. I think they might not have been put there on purpose. I think they've just like grew there by themselves. But anyway, let's find out if there's anyone here. More cars. What a bike. Motorbike. Hello, is there anyone here with me next to these uh, old toilets? Hello? Anyone here? It's about 12 o'clock by the way, I think. I'll just check. Oh, I can't see probably how. Oh, it's about 13 minutes or so past 12 on a Friday night here. Live in Jarrow Park. Well, not totally live, but, you know. <laughs> Is there anyone here with me right now in the park? Is there anyone here waiting to use this toilet? Anyone waiting to use the toilet here? Because if you are, you're going to have a very long wait. I know that's a bit of an inconvenience. You could almost say it was a public inconvenience. Yes, that's true. It's very true. A public inconvenience. That's its new name. A public inconvenience. And if there's somebody here, I would like to know your full name if you would be so kind to give it to me. And I'd also like to know once again, if there's anyone here from down by the old hall as my pedals just made a noise I think the invisible man's trying to ride me a bike while I've got a hold of it Oi mate! Get off the bike! <laughs> yeah he's the phantom bike thief or attempted bike thief Maybe. Hey, I could be standing some dog shit here. I'd never, never even know about it until I got home and I'd be like, What's that smell? <laughs> be like uh, in Clue, the movie. <laughs> okay, there's a bit of a window around the back here. As you can probably see. I don't know if it's got any glass in it. It's probably boarded up. Can't quite see. It's too dark. Try putting my bike light on and see if I can see. Oh, it's got wire mesh on it. Well, I thought it would be pretty much uh, closed off to the public. It's hard to tell in the dark. It's so dark, couldn't see the wire. Like, 
Is there anybody here who has any questions for me? Anyone? You can ask us any question you like, anything. But you'll have to shout it as loud as you can into these red lights for us to be able to hear it or record it. Could you do that for me please? If you've got a question, doesn't matter if you've got one question, two questions or whatever. Just um, just hit us up with some questions. And then if I hear your questions on this uh, video recording, what I'll do is, I'll come back another night, right, and I'll answer your questions for you. I would answer them right now if I could, it's just at the minute, like I said earlier in the playground, I can't hear you for the most part unless I record what you're saying first. So I have to go back home to check it on my headphones. Hearing some strange noises here, what's that? Not sure. Okay then. I guess I should uh, find out if there's any dog walkers here. Are there any dog walkers here tonight with me? If you used to be a dog walker that used to walk your little poochie pooch in the park here, could you please tell me your full name as loud as possible into those red lights? I'm not sure if there's someone in the park with us right now. Oh, there's leaves falling off. I don't know what, some noises over here. Just over here, like, there's some noises. But I'm thinking it's just leaves falling off. It's like cracks and noises, strange noises. And on the soil here, I thought it was grass. Looks like soil, but I'm not sure. I think it is grass actually, it looked like soil in the dark. Um, so if there is any dog walkers here, who uh, can you tell us what your dog was called? And what sort of dog did you have? Don't forget, if you want us to hear your answers, when you, if you answer me questions, can you please say them into those red lights in front of me on the, on the camera? <clears throat> Still buses on, it's after 12 o'clock. <laughs> I didn't think they ran that late. We're very close to the bowling green now. It's just over the hedge here. So, I guess, if there was any bowlers here, we might hear them at this spot, possibly. I'm not, not promising anything, but... Is there any bowlers here with me? Right now? If there is any bowlers with me, can you tell us what sort of scores you used to get when you were playing bowls? Now I don't know much about bowls, I've played a couple of times in the past, that's about it. Indoor bowls are played, not outdoors. Do you score points when you're playing bowls? Or do you just try to hit the little white ball with the black one and that's it? And then you've won the game or something? I'm not sure. I used to play snooker. Anyone here used to play snooker? Right, 
Okay, I've got another question for you. Is there anybody here who used to be a Freemason? Someone's coming. Yeah. Different noises. <laughs> is somebody making a noise here or is that something else? That's only leaves dropping there or something. It wasn't happening before, but it's happening now. I'm gonna move on here. Oh. Oh. And snagged by the branch there. Snagged by the branch. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna uh, wrap this video up here for the night. I think I've been here long enough. I don't know how long I've been here, I must be well over an hour and a half or something. Something like that anyway. Right, okay then. I'm gonna wrap this video up. I don't know how long I've been shooting for. I've been keeping it's hard, it's hard to keep track, you know, sometimes. Especially when you're starting and stopping the camera all the time. If you just continuously shoot without stopping, then you can just look at the screen and see how many minutes you've been shooting for. But when you're stopping and starting, it's kinda of more difficult to keep track. Do you know what I'm saying? So Apologies if this video is a bit long. Um, so, as usual, could you please wear headphones? I should have said this at the start. I'll put a little, um, I'll put some words on the screen, you know, reminding people to put a pair of headphones on at the start of the video. Um, it's a bit daft saying that at the end because you'll already seen that by before this point, wouldn't you? But never mind. <laughs> but um, if you did hear anything, any voices, any words other than me speaking or anything else, any strange sounds that didn't sound like they belonged on this video, you know, something unusual. Any of the EVP things, if there's any, I'm not saying there's going to be any, I don't know. But if you do hear any, even if you just hear a voice, could you tell us what you heard? If you heard a female, a male, if you heard some words being said, what the words were, let us know, because sometimes when I'm editing the video, the videos rather, sometimes I miss little bits and pieces, because I'm often editing late at night and I'm pretty tired and sometimes you don't hear it the first time when you play it, and then you go back to the video and it's on YouTube and I watch it again, and I start hearing things I didn't hear when I was editing. I don't know what that's all about, because sometimes I'm sure I didn't hear them on the when I was editing, but then on the YouTube, I'm hearing them. Weird. I don't think it was cause of, just because of tiredness or whatever, a lapse of concentration, I don't think it was that. I think there's another reason for it, but I don't know what it is. Something to do with it sounds different when it's on YouTube, maybe, to what it sounds like when it's when I'm editing it, you know? I don't know. But anyway, if you have en enjoyed any of this video, from here in Jarrow Park tonight, could you please give us a little thumbs up, as per usual, and I'll be very grateful indeed for that. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see any more videos from me in the future. Okay? And with that being said, I'd just like to thank you very much for watching this video once again. And I'm going to head off home now, I think. Before it gets, like, more rainy, heavier. You never know. It's quite cloudy-like. Even though it said it wasn't going to be any. It's still drizzle all the time. So anyway, I'm going to head off home. So thanks very much once again, everyone. And I'll catch you all next time. So it's good night from me. Ta-ra for now. Bye-bye now.